Today, we're going to be looking at 10 crazy Secret Service tactics. These are the kinds of things that the Secret Service uses to protect the President of the United States. Some of them are pretty crazy, but they're all necessary to keep the President safe. So let's get started. Number 10. Electronic Countermeasures One of the most important things the Secret Service does is protect the President from electronic threats. This includes things like hacking attempts and surveillance devices. To do this, the Secret Service uses a variety of advanced technology. One of their most powerful tools is called an Electronic Countermeasures ECM, system. ECM systems can detect and jam electronic signals, making it difficult for hackers to access the President's communications or for surveillance devices to track his movements. The Secret Service also uses other high-tech gadgets, like signal detectors and directional microphones. These devices can help them find and identify electronic threats. In addition to their technological arsenal, the Secret Service also has a team of experts who are trained to spot and neutralize electronic threats. These experts are constantly monitoring the President's environment for potential threats. Number 9. Physical Barriers One of the most common tactics is the use of physical barriers. This could include things like barricades, fences, or even bulletproof glass. The goal of these barriers is to keep unauthorized people from getting close enough to the protectee to harm them. Another tactic that the Secret Service uses is called crowd control. This involves using techniques like cordoning off areas, using police dogs, or even deploying tear gas to disperse crowds. The goal of crowd control is to prevent people from getting too close to the protectee and causing a disturbance. The Secret Service also uses a variety of surveillance techniques to keep an eye on the protectee. This could include things like using hidden cameras, listening devices, or even drones. The goal of surveillance is to identify any potential threats and take action to prevent them from harming the protectee. In addition to these physical and surveillance tactics, the Secret Service also uses a variety of other methods to protect the President and other VIPs. These methods include things like training agents in martial arts, using armored vehicles, and even having the protectee wear bulletproof clothing. Number 8. Communications. One of the most important things the Secret Service does is communicate securely. They use encrypted communication methods to protect their sensitive information from being intercepted by criminals or terrorists. One of the most common encrypted communication methods used by the Secret Service is called PGP, or Pretty Good Privacy. PGP is a free and open source encryption software that can be used to encrypt and decrypt messages. The Secret Service also uses other encrypted communication methods, such as VPNs and secure email. VPNs, or virtual private networks, create a secure tunnel between two computers over the Internet. This makes it difficult for anyone to intercept the data being transmitted. Secure email uses encryption to protect the contents of emails from being read by anyone other than the sender and recipient. The Secret Service's use of encrypted communication methods is essential for protecting the safety of the people they protect. By using these methods, they can ensure that their communications are secure and that their sensitive information is not at risk. But that's not all. The Secret Service also has some other crazy tactics for encrypted communication. For example, they've been known to use invisible ink and dead drops. Invisible ink is a type of ink that can only be seen when it's exposed to a certain type of light. This makes it perfect for sending secret messages that can't be easily intercepted. Dead drops are a way of exchanging secret messages without actually meeting in person. The Secret Service will often use dead drops to exchange information with informants or undercover agents. These are just a few of the crazy tactics the Secret Service uses for encrypted communication. They're always coming up with new ways to keep their communication secure, and it's pretty amazing to think about. Number 7. Crisis Response One of the most important things that Secret Service agents do is train for crisis response. This means that they have to be prepared for anything, from a terrorist attack to a natural disaster. They have to be able to assess the situation quickly and make decisions that will keep the president and their family safe. One of the things that Secret Service agents are trained in is emergency medical procedures. This includes things like CPR, first aid, and how to use defibrillators. They also have to be familiar with the president's medical history so that they can provide the best possible care in an emergency. Another crazy Secret Service tactic is called 10-Minute Medicine. This means that agents are trained to do everything they can to keep the president alive for 10 minutes until they can get him or her to a hospital. This includes things like applying tourniquets, stopping bleeding, and administering medication. The Secret Service's crisis response tactics are some of the most advanced in the world. 
They are constantly training and evolving their methods to keep the president and their family safe. Number 6. K-9 Units The Secret Service's K-9 units are made up of highly trained dogs and their handlers. The dogs are typically Belgian Malinois or German Shepherds, and they're trained to detect a variety of explosives, including bombs, mines, and other devices. They're also trained to track people, search for evidence, and protect their handlers. The Secret Service K-9 units are deployed all over the world, and they've been involved in some of the most high-profile security operations in recent history. They were there to protect President Obama during his inauguration, and they've also been used to secure events like the Super Bowl and the Olympics. These dogs are some of the best in the business, and they play a vital role in keeping our leaders and VIPs safe. So next time you see a Secret Service K-9 unit, give them a pat on the head and thank them for their service. But here's the craziest thing about the Secret Service's K-9 units. They're not just used to detect explosives. They're also used to do things like track down criminals, sniff out drugs, and even help with search and rescue operations. Number 5. Snipers the Secret Service's sniper teams are some of the most highly trained and experienced in the world. They are responsible for providing surveillance and responding to potential threats during public events, such as presidential inaugurations, political rallies, and sporting events. Sniper teams are typically deployed in strategic positions that provide a clear view of the area where the president or other protected individual will be present. They are equipped with high-powered rifles and binoculars, and they are trained to identify and neutralize threats quickly and efficiently. In addition to their surveillance and response duties, sniper teams also play a role in training other Secret Service agents. They teach agents how to identify potential threats, how to use firearms effectively, and how to survive in a hostile environment. The Secret Service's sniper teams are an essential part of the agency's protective mission. They are the eyes in the sky, providing a layer of security that helps to keep the president and other protected individuals safe. Number 4. Air Support One of the most common air support tactics is called skyhooking. This is when a helicopter hovers over the ground and a Secret Service agent rappels down to the ground. This is used when the president needs to be evaluated from a dangerous situation quickly. Another air support tactic is called hot pursuit. This is when a helicopter follows a vehicle that the Secret Service believes is a threat to the president. The helicopter will stay close to the vehicle and track its movements, ready to intervene if necessary. The Secret Service also uses aircraft for surveillance. This means flying over a location and using cameras to look for any potential threats. This is often done before the president visits a certain place so that the Secret Service can make sure it's safe. But wait, there's more. Here's a bonus fact for you, the Secret Service also has a fleet of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, or drones. These drones are used for surveillance and can be equipped with cameras, sensors, and even weapons. Number 3. Armored Vehicles One of their craziest tactics is using armored vehicles. The Secret Service uses a variety of armored vehicles to protect VIPs, including the President's armored limousine, often referred to as the Beast. The Beast is a heavily modified Cadillac that is designed to withstand a variety of threats, including gunfire, bombs, and chemical attacks. It has 8-inch thick doors, bulletproof glass, and a run-flat tire system. The Beast also has a self-sealing fuel tank and a tear gas cannon. In addition to the Beast, the Secret Service also uses a variety of other armored vehicles, including SUVs, vans, and buses. These vehicles are also heavily modified to protect their occupants from attack. They have bulletproof glass, run-flat tires, and other security features. The Secret Service's use of armored vehicles is a testament to their commitment to protecting VIPs. These vehicles are designed to withstand some of the most dangerous threats imaginable, and they give the Secret Service the peace of mind knowing that their protectees are safe. Number 2. Counter Surveillance One of the Secret Service's most important tasks is counter surveillance. This involves detecting and neutralizing potential threats by monitoring crowds and conducting surveillance to identify suspicious individuals or activities. Secret Service agents are trained to look for things like unusual behavior, people who seem out of place, or people who are taking pictures or video of the protected person. One of the craziest Secret Service tactics is called bumping. This involves having an agent deliberately bump into a suspicious person in order to get a closer look at them. The agent will then try to assess the person's intentions and whether they pose a threat. Another crazy Secret Service tactic is called tailing. This involves having an agent follow a suspicious person to see where they go and who they meet with. 
The agent will try to gather as much information as possible about the person's activities. The Secret Service also uses a variety of technological tools to help with counter surveillance. These tools include things like drones, facial recognition software, and Stingray devices. Stingray devices are used to intercept cell phone signals, which can be used to track the movements of suspicious individuals. Number 1. Advance The Secret Service's advanced teams are responsible for assessing security risks, planning routes, and coordinating with local law enforcement before a VIP visit. They are the first line of defense in protecting the president, vice president, and other high-level officials. Advanced teams typically arrive at the location of the visit several days in advance. They begin by conducting a security assessment of the area. This includes looking for potential threats, such as high-rise buildings that could be used for sniper attacks or crowds that could be used to conceal a bomb. Once the security assessment is complete, the advanced team begins planning the routes that the VIP will take. They need to ensure that these routes are safe and secure and that they can be easily evaluated in case of an emergency. The advanced team also coordinates with local law enforcement. This includes providing them with information about the VIP's visit and working with them to develop security plans. The work of the Secret Service's advanced teams is essential to protecting the president and other VIPs. By conducting thorough security assessments and planning carefully, they help to ensure that these individuals are safe from harm. Yes, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have suggestions for future videos, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.